Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about an amazing fruiting plant called Barbados Cherry. Barbados Cherry is a bushy shrub or small tree. In the ground, mature plants can reach around 10 feet height. They are also known by many other names such as West Indies Cherry, Garden Cherry and Acerola. They have beautiful little fruits that get dark red when they ripe. They look very attractive in the tree. They are also very tasty. They have a sweet and sour taste and they are filled with nutrition and antioxidants. They are also a great source of vitamin C which has a lot of health benefits. If you have children, they will really enjoy having this plant in the garden. These are actually very easy to grow plants and I love growing them just to see the red fruits hanging from the trees. The tree itself looks quite nice with bright green leaves. They are quite flexible plants and they grow very well in hot climates. They can adapt very well to different conditions. I live in a tropical climate and they just do fine here. They will also grow very well in hot dry climates. You will find a lot of hybrid varieties that grow very well in containers too. You can get a healthy variety from a nursery and plant them. So here is how I got the plant. It was very thin and was in a tiny plastic packet. I repotted the plant in a 6 inch pot first and instantly it was filled with fresh leaves and new growth. When you are choosing containers, try to gradually increase the pot size. First plant them in an 8 inch pot. Then you can move them to a 10, 12, 15 or bigger pots to have best results. They will need some space to develop properly. Currently I have mine in an 8 inch pot and it's fruiting quite well. They like bright light and warm temperatures. To get maximum fruits, give them 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight. They will also grow well in partial shade. In harsh summer weather, you can give them afternoon shade so they don't get exhausted especially for potted plants. But they are not shade loving plants so try to give them as much light as possible to get lots of fruits and flowers. A sandy loamy soil is ideal for them but they can adapt to other type of soil. You can also plant them in clay soil. They need good drainage, so always choose a well-draining soil for them. Add good quality compost, a handful of bone meal, some neem cake powder and some cocoa peat to prepare the potting media. A media rich with organic matter is best for them. They don't take much time to fruit. You might get fruit within a year of planting. They not only have beautiful fruits, the flowers are also very pretty. They have this pink delicate looking flowers and they keep blooming all year round. If you look closely, they look very beautiful. At first, you will get tiny fruits like this. At this stage, they will be quite sour. Slowly, they will turn red. If you like sour taste, then you can eat them now. But if you want them to get sweet, then you have to wait for them to become dark red and then you can harvest them. In my garden, they fruit pretty much all year long. And as your plant gets older, it will produce more and more fruits. In potted plants, you need to give them nutrition throughout the year and especially before springtime. At the start of spring, Take some of the topsoil off and add some compost and bone meal to encourage more fruits. You can do this every 2 to 3 months gap. Weekly you can apply any light liquid fertilizer if you want. Don't over fertilize them. Keep it light and simple. And if your plant is in the ground then you don't need to do anything. These plants like to be well hydrated and especially the first few years after planting you should water them well. They like moist conditions. Too much dry or wet soil can damage the fruit production, so always check the moisture levels. As the plant gets older, it will become more drought tolerant. I have not faced any disease or insect problems in my plants, but lately all my fruits have been eaten by birds and animals a lot. I tried very hard to save them. You can see I tried to cover the plant just so I can make this video. Some animal ate all the fruits and that's why I cannot show you much. I think there's a rat in my house, but other than this, you will not face any type of problem with this plant. To keep the plant in a compact size, you can prune it before springtime. That is all they need to grow well. They're great plants to add in your garden and they're very easy to grow. Let me know if you grow them in your garden and if you have any queries, post it in the comment section. I will see you next time. Bye!